Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We're doing your singles new love reading for October 2022. We're going to have a look and see what energies are around you, what is coming in, what is blessing you, and what advice that spirit has for you. If you are currently in a romantic relationship of some sort, please check out the love reading that is already posted for you. And you guys might also want to check out your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings as well. Keep in mind, as always, these are general readings for the collective energy. So not all the messages may resonate with you each. Thank you each and every time. So, <clears throat> excuse oh, other way. Okay, thank you. So uh, keep that in mind. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. So we do have some very exciting energy for new love coming in here in the month ahead. Um, we have Libra or Venus in Libra, excuse me, all the way up until October 23rd. And this brings about an energy of restoration of balance and harmony into your world. September was probably a little bit crazy for a lot of people. And of course, we had Mercury retrograde, which was really quite intense. Um, so anyway, so this is a time of kind of uh, shrugging things off and finding that balance back in your world again. And the Venus influence that comes in, Venus, of course, the planet of love and abundance. So it gives you the ability to open your heart space to attract new love interests, attract new people, and just really prepare yourself for finding that love in your world. Um, we have a full moon in Aries on the 9th of October. Perfect time. Full moons, of course, always a great time to release, to heal, to let go of any low vibe energies, any worries, fears, doubts, frustrations that may come in that you haven't found love yet. It's very easy to get frustrated and, you know, but... Uh, when we get frustrated or we get mad or we rail at the fates, uh, we quite often create more blocks for ourselves. So um, it's a perfect time to release, to let go. But it's also a great time um, to get passionate um, and to really make good decisions for yourself. Um, an energy of independence, of believing in yourself, of confidence, okay, to find what you're looking for. And of course, we do have a new moon in Scorpio. This is an eclipse coming in on the 25th of October, really opening a lot of magical portals for you, um, really propelling you forward in your quest for love and romance. The eclipses do bring in sometimes a little bit of uncertainty um, in your world is kind of a little topsy-turvy energy, but this is a new moon, so it is um, a lot gentler, but, you know, it is a shift in the cycle as well, though, really highlighting the next six months or so, and so sometimes we can feel a little bit um, uncertain or unstable, but there are magical energies really at play, especially with that new moon, because it does occur really close to that Venus influence. Of course, we do have a couple of other planets um, that are in retrograde and and things you know but let's focus on attracting love okay the energy coming in for you well we do have this Aries energy for you front and center here cancer so this can certainly be really highlighting that shift in cycle okay the end of an old cycle and the beginning of a new one with that Aries energy filled with passion and fire and excitement coming in here. This can be you taking the lead, taking charge and taking bull by the horns and really getting things um, off the ground. Okay. You're just believing in yourself. Okay. I feel here that you've worked very hard on yourself to get yourself to a position of strength, of stability, feeling like you're comfortable in your own skin and you're like, yep, I am ready. You're believing in yourself and you believe that you can find love. Now, this can also represent a person coming in with that energy there, okay? So it could possibly be an Aries person, okay, or someone with Aries in their chart. This may be somebody who uh, is um, maybe a little bit older in, like, human years, um, but not necessarily because this the emperor is successful, strong, stable, secure, a lot of world experience, a lot of failures, a lot of triumphs um, in that person's life. And they've learned a lot. They've got a great deal of inner wisdom within them. There might even be a little bit of an old soul in that respect. So when we talk about like age or maturity, um, it's it doesn't necessarily have to be that physical age, right? We can be that old soul in a young body, okay? But this would be somebody who knows what they want. They know what works for them. They know what 
what doesn't work for them and they are not going to play any games. Okay, no siree Bob. All right. And that is a, that's great because you know what? I feel as though here, Cancer, that your days of playing games are probably behind you. Okay. And I think that you have really done a lot of hard work on yourself and you're not going to let anybody um, undermine you or anything. I think you're recognizing your strengths and your ability to say yes and your ability to say no. Okay. Even more importantly there. Okay. So some really magnificent energy that is coming in there. Okay. And we also do have the high priestess as well. So I think with, you know, the high priestess really does highlight your intuition, your psychic abilities here, trusting your sign symbols and synchronicities, a little bit of magic within you. Okay. And you know, the thing is, is we have the high priestess and we also have that emperor. There's a lot of wisdom going on here in your month ahead. So we could certainly, you know, stay that we may have a person coming in who is very wise, probably again, that old soul, but is also highly intuitive. Someone who may have awakened to their own spiritual side. Now with the high priestess is the keeper of secrets and mysteries. And this can be that there is something really powerful coming towards you, but you may not see it yet. It's hidden from you at the moment. Okay. And sometimes, you know, we do need to just trust that we're on the right path and trust that things are opening up for us and trust that when that timing is right, that is when we will make that connection that we're meant to make. Okay. Um, cause we, you know, it's, uh, it's always interesting when we're looking for new love, right? Because there's more than one player involved, right? There's you and there's another person or maybe multiple people. And the thing is, is that things may be alignment in alignment for you, but you're a person that's, you, you know, that's coming towards you may have their own things that they're dealing with and that they're working on. So when everything lines up and you and your person are both ready at the same time, okay, that is when that magic happens. That's when things come into alignment. So sometimes that's why we experience delays in finding love, right? Because we you both need to be ready, okay, to welcome it and to embrace it because, you know, otherwise things are just probably not going to work out the way that you want to, even though it has a lot of promise and potential, okay? So I think Spirit's really trying to make sure that everything is all tickety-boo for you, um, with but not just you, but also your person. But I think here your ability to really recognize what is right for you is uh, very much um, on point, right? Your your intuition is at an all time high, and I think you're really on this path forward where you're trusting all of your senses. Okay, you're not doubting yourself. It's beautiful, right? It really is that beautiful energy there. Okay, but we do have the blessings headed your way, and we do have peer coming in, and this is the higher fan energy. You believing in yourself, believing and having faith in the universe. This is you um, using all of your wisdom and knowledge and, and experiences that you have acquired over, um, over time. And you are really have the ability to transcend um, any lower vibrational energies that come in here. The Hierophant is a card of tradition and structure and really um, maintaining that sense of stability and um, embracing and not, how, should I, how do I want to word that? You're not going to compromise things that you find important for the sake of a person. When we have the Hierophant, this is, think about those belief systems that you have in place, okay? Um, think of those traditions that you have in place, those core values that you possess. And then someone comes waltzing on in and somehow they undermine us or they get us to compromise what we hold really important to us. And sometimes that's necessary because sometimes change is, you know, a good thing. But when there's really things that are part of our core being and part of the things that we really, really, really um, uh, believe in, okay, those traditions, those structures, the order that we want things to happen in as well, um, you know, it's like, it's almost like having those deal breakers in place. 
And when we make those compromises, right, for the sake of a person, we quite often start with physical attraction and things, you know, then I don't, I don't feel that you are going to let anyone undermine you. I think here that you're rising above anyone that is, I don't think you're going to jump on any old gravy train, okay, is really what I'm trying to say. I think you're going to be a little bit discerning in who you welcome into your world in this energy, okay, and I don't think that you're going to just latch on to the first person that crosses your path because that might not be meant for you. And I think you're recognizing that. But I do think here as well, this is Taurus energy. So, I mean, we do have Aries and we do have Taurus coming in. Um, and of course, they are um, right beside each other in the Zodiac and also in the Tarot, right? We've got um, number four and then number five. So I think part of the blessings headed your way, which is what the Hierophant card is, I think part of your blessings is personal growth, your ability to move forward and believe in yourself and keep that faith alive. Trust that things are opening up for you and trust that you are going to find what it is you're looking for and um, in a really positive way. Okay, you're committed to your journey forward and um, it's a beautiful energy. Believing in yourself and believing that there is love out there for you really does help you transcend and really does help you um, overcome your fears, worries, doubts, anxieties, uh, frustration, anger, um, obsession, okay, all of those wonderful bright and shiny low vibe energies, right? I think you're rising above all of that. OK, um, and I think you're really embracing what is really important for you. Now, for some of you, of course, a blessing headed your way could possibly be a Taurus person or maybe there's something here that you are learning. Um, the Hierophant does have to do with higher level learning as well. And we do have a three of pentacles coming out here also. Um, the Three of Pentacles is a card of creation. It's also one of teamwork, collaboration. So there may be other people involved that can help you find some love or help you learn something about yourself. Okay, um, a little bit of a helping hand. But this uh, Three of Pentacles quite often is that learning energy. Okay, you might seek out some sort of... Um, for the lack of a better word, we'll call it a guru of some sort, okay, or someone that's very wise and knowledgeable, and there could be that kind of person around you that can help you see um, the light or learn something about yourself or learn something about your past experiences as well. The um, emperor energy, the emperor quite often does come out as an advice card as well. So you might not be in this alone. You might be joining up with some um, like-minded souls, um, getting together with, uh, you know, some people that are looking for the same things that you are. Um, perhaps there's some creative projects. The three of pentacles does highlight um, your creativity, okay, and if there's some hobbit, um, hobbits, uh, hobbies, excuse me, well, maybe you know a hobbit, I don't know, um, but maybe there's um, some hobbies or something that, uh, you know, that you want to pursue or pick up or, um, you know, maybe work with, uh, you know, a number of people. It could be an online group, but more, li more likely because this is your physical world, more likely something in your physical world. So maybe you're going to join a group of people or something, get out there, socialize, learn something, um, hone your skills on something. And uh, you just never know who you might meet when you do that, do something a little bit different. But I also think here, the three of pentacles for you, this is about creation. Okay, things are coming together for you. Okay, there's some magic in the air for you and some great things that are happening for you. Okay, and spirit really does want you to um, believe in yourself. Okay, we've got the strength card coming in here with uh, Quat and, you know, this really does highlight your inner strength. Okay, your ability to embrace um, all of the wonderful positive qualities about yourself, but also recognize those in others. This brings in an energy of patience, of confidence, and also courage. Courage to move ahead, courage to meet new people, courage to get out there, courage to leave things behind and embrace the new. And, you know, sometimes opening our heart and finding new love is scary sometimes, but I think here that spirit saying that, you know what, you can do it, okay? We are not meant to be alone forever. Humans are social creatures, social animals, right? We need that companionship, okay? We need that 
sense of, of not really the sense of belonging, but the sense of connection. Okay, we need those connections in our life. And but sometimes it can be, especially if you've been through some very difficult and trying times, okay, it can be very difficult to open ourselves up. So spirits giving you a big dose of patience, confidence, and courage, okay, to embrace, to open up, and to welcome in the love. Um, I also think here that for some of you, you may have, I mean, you've got some fire coming out in your reading. And you are, of course, a water sign. So what do you get when you mix fire and water? You get steam, right? So I think there's something really brewing here for you and something that is um, really wonderful and magical. But Spirit does want you to open up the Four of Pentacles. Have the courage to open up the Four of Pentacles while it is a card of being solid and stable and, um, you know, really um, having a built a good, strong, solid foundation. It can also be one where we're closed off, right? For pentacles known as the miser of the tarot. Okay, sometimes we hold on to certain things too tight and we create some blocks. So, you know, remember over here with the Hierophant energy, we did say that some of you may have some, you know, deal breakers and things like that. Um, and I don't think that you're going to really compromise on the big stuff. Okay. Um, you know, the things like trust and honesty and communication and respect. I don't think you're going to compromise on those, nor should you. Okay. We all deserve those things. Um, but I think there's maybe certain things that, you may want to let go of, okay? Sometimes we do have certain little deal breakers um, and sometimes they seem kind of frivolous or sometimes they're just, you know, kind of rooted in human ego kind of thing. So there might be something there um, that you may need to kind of compromise on, just, you know, gain a different perspective on something, but certainly not those really important things, okay? Usually sometimes the petty things, Okay, but the Four of Pentacles ultimately can certainly represent that you've gotten yourself to a certain point. Okay, and you have gained a lot of experiences and you have learned a lot. Okay, and this makes you who you are, but there you do need to perhaps open up just a little bit, right? That Four of Pentacles that can sometimes be very protective and very closed off in that energy. Okay, um, can also be very conservative energy. So the need there to open up um, is really quite um, prevalent in your reading, okay? We do need to be open to new people, new experiences, um, also different cultures as well, um, or different age groups or things like that, because um, the world used to seem like a really big place, and the world these days seems like a much smaller place. Right. And we do quite often. I mean, if you think even, you know, 30, 50 years ago, right, how often did you see things like interracial marriages or, um, you know, people marrying into a different culture and background? People quite often usually stuck to their own people. Right. And, you know, we've expanded as humanity, right? Not everybody, obviously not everybody, okay? But, you know, um, certainly in certain places in the world, we have a lot more of an open mindset for a lot of different things because what it really is is our recognizing our soul counterpart, right? And it's all about the soul. It's all about the energy. And, and you know, some things, sometimes other things get in the way, but, you know, but hey, you know what? Sometimes we just do need to keep that open mind. Mind, um, because the person you meet may come from a completely different background. They may have different life experiences than you. Um, they may have, you know, a different an age possibly as well. Okay. And, you know, sometimes though, we just need to be open to that and just see what happens. Okay. So, but that also takes a little bit of courage, but I also think there's a lot of potential coming in here. Of course, the strength card is number eight in this deck. 
And when we have eights, eights represent manifestation and they also represent being in the flow, right? The infinity symbol that comes in there, the infinite flow of the universe. And we need to be open and in the flow of the universe to really um, attract and find what it is that is meant for us and what we're looking for. But ultimately here, man, oh man, look at you embracing you. We've got um, Wally coming in here and this is the chariot card. When, you're, when everything is in alignment for you, when your spiritual self matches your physical self, when your yin and your yang are aligned, off to the races you go. The chariot card brings about an energy of confidence, of success, moving towards your destiny. The stars aligning for you and this brings you in some willpower, some drive, some determination and yes, some self-confidence coming in here, believing in yourself, believing that there's magic in the universe that's meant for you and believing that you are ultimately headed in the right direction. Okay, it's a beautiful energy. Now you could possibly be meeting another fellow um, Cancerian. Okay, but you could also be meeting um, an air sign as well. We've got a few different things coming out here for you. And again, be open. Okay. Um, but we do have the King of Swords coming in here. So I think whatever your situation is, the King of Swords brings you in an energy of leadership, of taking the lead. This also brings about important conversations. Okay. Communication is highlighted when we have the King of Swords, you taking the lead, right? Take the lead and make something happen for yourself. All right. But I think you're getting a big sense of clarity and a sense of purpose coming in here. Um, there's no wasted efforts when we have the King of Swords, right? The King of Swords is crystal clear about what next steps to take and what to do, okay? And doesn't let anything, um, you know, doesn't let anything stand in his way, okay? But I do think here that there is possibly a very powerful, strong connection that is, um, that is headed your way. Uh, the um, Swords energy could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, may come in there but of course this can also be your own sense of clarity this also brings in a logical way of thinking as well using your book smarts your street smarts okay using all of your intelligence not just on a human level in your human brain but also in your intuition okay i think that's coming in there for you but i mean hey if you know the king of swords as a person would also would be someone who is incredibly intelligent their mind is sharp as attack they may not wear their heart on their sleeve, but it doesn't mean they don't feel some emotions, okay? Um, sometimes they, you know, the, the gift of communication is very strong with that person, um, but again, it's uh, they may not wear their heart on their sleeves, um, but they are honest and they are truthful. They are in the upright for you. This is not in the reverse, which is a good thing, okay? They are honest, they're truthful. You can take this person at their word. So there may be a very important conversation that you have in the next little while, okay? This can be with a new person entering, but this can also be with somebody in your world that can help you on some level as well. But this can also just, again, represent your energy Okay, taking a um, very proactive approach to finding love. Let's see, we've got fog coming in here for you. <clears throat> we have the new pearl. Oh, new pearls of wisdom, perhaps. Um, we have the great serpent. And we also have mercury energy. Interesting. We just left Mercury retrograde and now Mercury has uh, started spinning back in the right direction, so to speak. Okay, so we're certainly releasing some things that we had coming in with Mercury retrograde. It was a very difficult one for a lot of people. Uh, it was very um, intense for a lot of people in that energy. Big sigh of relief that that is out. But Mercury has to do with the mind, the communication, your ability to manifest, to gain clarity, wisdom, knowledge. Um, and, you know, of course, uh, also highlights that um, your thought processes, but also um, highlights your ability to communicate. So there may be some very important um, communication internally, externally that you have at some point in the next month. Okay, again, it can be the stories you tell yourself as well, or you're just getting that clarity um, that you may need, okay, to know what it is you want. When you know what it is you want, off to the races with that chariot energy. And I think here, whatever you're confused about or 
whatever you're uncertain about in this fog energy, imagine being in a fog, like a brain fog, like a brain cloud, you know, um, I think here that you are gaining new insights and um, new clarity about what it is that you're looking for or about how to find love or about maybe even why something in your past has occurred. Why did I need to experience these things? Because you know, when we have the pearl coming in here, the new pearl, how do pearls start? They start with a grain of sand and then they need irritation to grow into a gem. So those things that occur in our life that irritate us, that bother us, that are difficult for us, they are all part of our wisdom, our pearls of wisdom, but they are also part of our experiences and we end up forming that pearl. So I think here, you know, um, you know, the, so I think spirits want to, re wanting to remind you some things about your past for number one. Okay. For those experiences that you've been through. Okay. And things are really about to blossom in here for you, right? You're gaining those new insights and wisdom and those pearls of wisdom around you, but also through, um, trials and tribulations and accomplishing things and overcoming things. This is, you know, um, really leading us towards something vibrant and something shiny. The new pearl also does represent planting the seeds of intention. For something to grow and for something to manifest, we've got to be clear on what we want. We have to be clear in our intentions, our messages that we send out into the universe. And once that message is received, we planted that seed. There's a lot of magic happening behind the scenes here for you. You can't quite see it yet. It may be hidden for you, and that's why we need to maintain the faith, right? We need to believe that things are occurring for our best and highest good always and believe that there is something very magical coming together in the background, okay? Because this is a time of regeneration, growth, rebirth for you, unlimited potential. You've entered the quantum realm with the great serpent energy with the Ouroboros, and there is, it's a never-ending circle but you're harnessing all of the magic all of the power of the universe all the power within you to build and create the life that you're looking for you have entered that realm where it's unlimited possibilities coming in there okay so um keep that faith right remember be open okay go with the flow and uh you know resist the urge to you know create those blocks right or to you know, get frustrated, right? Sometimes when we let it go, um, you know, have you ever, you've, I'm sure you've heard or you've seen people where they're like, oh, forget it. I give up. I don't, I'm just happy with myself. I'm not looking for love anymore. And the next thing you know, they find the love that they just said that they didn't want. Okay. Um, because when we stop thinking about things or worrying about things, that's quite often when the magic does happen. Okay, so really be in that flow and uh, allow, 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 okay? Open your heart space there also. Thank you very much. Oh, two for five. All right, so let's get some last messages out here for you guys. And we have grounding energy coming out here with personal boundaries. Okay, we already did discuss a little bit about those before, right? Those things that you hold dear and not letting anyone kind of take anything away or undermine you or, or you know, you're not going to allow your yourself to compromise on the really important things to you, the things that matter. But we do have grounding energy. This represents your root chakra, the ability and the need to be grounded and secure. Okay, when we have the grounding energy, this is our sense of security, our sense of um, safety. Okay. Um, this also represents creating a good foundation for us, right? When we have that foundation and we're rooted and grounded in reality, then we can allow all these new things to come in. Okay. So, um, there is a need here to ground your energy. Okay. Um, because that is our sense of security. So you can get that by, um, you know, connecting with nature. If you are engaging in any alchemical processes like manifestation, um, things like that, remember in those practices to ground and protect your energy before engaging in any spiritual practice. Okay. That way, um, you know, you have that good solid connection with the earth, but you can connect with nature. Nature may actually help you, um, gain some clarity, right? You know, those people that, um, you know, if you're having a really busy day or something like that, and you've got all these 
um, thoughts muddling in your head. People quite often say, I'm going to go for a walk and clear my head. It's a form of meditation. It's a form of grounding your energy. That's why it works. Okay. We just don't realize that's what we're doing. Okay. So connecting with nature, going for a walk may actually really um, help you gain some clarity or insights um, that you may need. Okay. Um, you may also need to take a practical approach at finding love. Okay. Um, you know, we do need to take action, right? Not everything is just going to manifest beside us on our couch, right? We're not a genie. Okay. Although if we find a genie, I don't know if I'd manifest someone on my couch. I might get something a little bit more interesting. But uh, anyways, so, but we don't have a genie in front of us though. But you are the genie. Okay. So you can make magic in your world. All right. So, um, you know, so really uh, take a practical approach perhaps at finding love. Okay. But we do have personal boundaries coming in here. Now this does represent a choice. Choosing love. What do you choose? What kind of person do you choose? What are the core values that are super duper important? Not those frivolous little things on the side. Someone leaving a wet towel on the floor kind of annoys you every single day, but nah, in the end of the day, does it matter? Okay. Or are they truthful and honest? Someone reliable and dependable, right? Those are the important things. So, um, so, you know, so really, um, you know, I think here that this is really highlighting your ability to put up some personal boundaries. Um, I think this, um, is an energy of confidence for you. Um, this is also you choosing to be open to new intimate experiences, to allow someone in, um, in a very deep emotional way. Okay. Um, this does, uh, bring in some beautiful energy for you to be authentic, to be assertive, right? We have that coming in here anyway with your chariot card, okay? And to make the good, bold choices for yourself, but also maybe put up a few little boundaries, your ability to say no, all right? And your last messages that come out here for you, oh, this is beautiful. Okay, we have a suolo coming out here for you, and this brings in success. S for success, okay? Um, this is success, completion of your goals. Um, this brings in an ability um, to really embrace your personal power to bring in the changes that you want, to bring in the success that you want. You're moving forward. You're taking action. You're not um, taking things laying down. You're doing things to improve and enhance yourself so that you're ready to receive that love that is out there for you. It's beautiful or positive changes laying ahead for you in this energy. Okay. We also have Ingwas coming out here for you. And this all has to do with this masculine energy coming in. This also, um, you know, this has to do with male fertility, right? So um, there's male energy coming in, masculine energy coming in, your ability to take action, to, um, you know, to get things going, right? Whatever actions that you take right now will put you towards that path to finding love. This also has to do with um, waiting a little bit, okay? There's like a, a gestation period that comes in. And again, we saw with the pearl, right? We start with a seed, we plant those intentions. And then, you know, we might have some irritations or some challenges along the way. But this is, you know, a waiting period waiting for that pearl, um, that gem, okay, that love to form. Okay, and so it's, this is really reminding you that, you know, all great things do take sometimes time to really manifest. So there is that waiting period that may come in here. But during that time of waiting, you can use that energy, you can use that time to your best and highest good to learn things about yourself to, um, you know, in, in, in embrace your spiritual side, right to, um, you know, do some personal improvements, right. And you so you can use that to your um, to your ability to enhance enhance your strengths, to gain some confidence, all right, and, um, you know, so really use that energy, that time, that waiting period, if you will, um, to your best advantage, okay, so I think that for some of you here in the month ahead, you are getting something that you've been waiting for, and success is right at hand for you. I think for others, you are really getting yourself centered and grounded. You're getting yourself to the point where you are believing in yourself. You've got confidence. You're setting some intentions and you are just trusting that you are on your path and that you are moving towards your destiny, um, your sense of fulfillment and connection. And you're really where you are meant to be at this time in your life. And that there's a lot of magic that lays ahead for you.
Okay, so a lot of um, a lot of really strong, powerful, confident energy that is coming in here for you guys. So I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If so, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.